Veini waki woki ya gai ni kule muoyo Na guo muoyo shio ni guo dheli Na guo dheli ni wara haduma ini Na yo duma dheli ya ohota Nyitana gira na Pastor Jane Munene Thank you so much one more time Mari guwa taniru na kiari wa prestige O muvenye waki umia Makegu uli ya madi kwa magai Tafare ini ya kiu woki ya muoyo Muta boini uriurata bataka hurura The o the hado ya aroma Pacific Waves International Radio, Seattle, Washington, USA. Ne tuwa kukaidia muna muna oru shine na hoi nuwa mothe mudhikiriri ya na mwerareri wa Pacific Waves International Radio and Television ni harura tuona mothe nya wawu mothe International Kiri ya gai gado ne todu wa wedo wa mage gani ya gutuweda gutui kwe ratha na gutuhe kamweke kage ne gada tuhote ushamani ya nawe mutabu ini wa Pacific the ini wa show ya kuede te muno show ya kigoki ya muoyo ili ya tushamana gia nawe mothe nya wawu mothe rusande roshine mwena wa Pacific Time na East African Time ni mahida mahida wa ini mwadha nika hithi wikuwa rogoswo and so kalibuni sana kalibuni sana tunashukuru mungu kwa sababu ya kila moja wenu na tunaomba ya kwamba unapo kuja please invite somebody share the video with somebody let somebody know that the monenes are alive and we thank God for his grace we thank God for his mercies na unakutuwe daru shine rwa umuthi mwadha nika hithi wikuwa rogoswo so share the video with somebody invite somebody leke mwadu wa menye leke eo menye let somebody know that uh, we are here to be blessed because God has been so faithful uh, so please share the video share the video with somebody uh, the teacher will be talking on uh, the root of bitterness. Uh, whatever. Yeah, but that is the topic that we have today. Uh, nitodo wa kume nyama uto marea maige marea hagu wa nitodo wa luo lori ato hata kuika or the bitterness that bitterness we are we are sometimes harboring in our hearts na tunashindwa na kuendelea and so this morning i want to welcome all of you and so for me invite somebody thank you so much pastor mary sent mary Mange from uh cci uh may the lord god bless you so much salimia watu wangu uh summer less mass na massa Masa hii jina ina nitatisaka kidogo uh, From Bea, Tanzania May the Lord God bless you so much uh, Masa na jami yako Wasalimia watu wote Salimia babu Na wana kubariki pia kwa sababu ya kujiunga nasi My friend Jani Jani Swanjohi Thank you so much Really you're tuned and ready for the word Bona kubariki sana Na bebe uko upande wa Nairobi Na tunashukuru So please share the video Share the video Put yourself ready Tafuta weka bibiria zako tiari Na ninajua ya kwamba Unaenda tunaenda kubarikiwa Tunaenda kubarikiwa Put weka bibiria yako karibu Na Na kila kitu karibu kwa ajili ya neno la siku ya leo I believe that God is going to minister to us Yes, it is the root of bitterness is the title today And we thank God So, mina taa kuchukua na fasi hii Na jibindisha hata kwa kiswahili Kwa sababu hata kama hii ni show ya kiwoki ya muoyo Naona kuna watu wa swahili Wenye kikuyu itakua ningumu kidogo But I thank God that all of us have gone to school At least we understand a bit of English and a bit of Swahili uh, and so we want to just go straight, have a word of prayer, and then to end the lay. Baba katika jina la Yesu tunakushukuru tunakubariki asubuhi ya leo na jioni ya leo asante kwa wema na fadhili zako we are grateful that heavenly father you have brought us this far and you've given us another opportunity just to sit and be taught of your word we thank you that your word is living it is active we thank you that it is able to build us up and it is also able to give us every bit of the inheritance that you have uh, you have for each one of us uh, in Christ Jesus 
Jesus. We thank you this morning. Asante kwa sababu ya kila mmoja ambaye anajiunga nasi. Tunaomba mkono wako wenye nguvu na uwezo ukawe juu yao, walinde wabariki. Tunaomba ya kwamba Bwana tunapolisikia neno lako asubuhi ya leo na jioni ya leo ya kwamba neno litakuwa na nafasi na litakuwa na nafasi ya kutufanya tuwe kile wewe mwenyewe umekusudia tuweze kuwa katika jina la Yesu. Asante kwa sababu wewe ni mwaminifu. <coughs> Asante kwa sababu wewe ni wa kweli. Tunashukuru hata kwa sababu ya mwalimu wetu. Tunaomba ukambariki asubuhi ya leo na poenda kushiriki nasi neno lako. Mm. Ukiomba ya kwamba Bwana asubuhi ya leo kuna mtu ata, atapata ushuhuda kwa sababu ya kulisikia neno lako na kuweza kuachilia mambo yale ambayo yamekuwa na uzito na mambo ambayo yameleta uchungu katika mioyo ya, yetu katika jina la Yesu. We thank you because if we believe in your word, Heavenly Father, it will work for us. And therefore this morning, we pray that you will help all of us and help even our unbelief in the name of Jesus. We thank you because you are speaking to us, dear Father, even to know how to walk in this walk of faith because you desire that Heavenly Father tutachukua nila yako na tutaweka kila mzigo chini so that we'll be able to run at the race that has been set before us even as we focus on you Jesus the author and the finish of our faith we pray that you'll help us to lay down everything else that we'll be able to learn with endurance for the glory and the honor of your name we honor you and we bless you that you will heal somebody this morning and you will set somebody free this morning in the name of Jesus we thank you and we pray in Jesus name amen amen, amen. amen. so <clears throat> karibuni sana karibuni sana continue sharing continue sharing the video and the Lord is going to bless you and so without taking more time I just want to bring in Morim that he will take us through the word of God karibu sana amen amen thank you very much yes I really appreciate this moment mm -hmm. uh, good morning and a good evening amen. glory be to God for such a wonderful time mm. and this very moment we are not taking more time we are diving to the word of god amen and today we will be discussing about the root of bitterness mm. because this is something that grows slowly and with the time it becomes strong mm. because the purpose of the root is to hold the plant Number two, it's to sap the nutrients from the soil. Mm. So when the root of the bitterness has developed in somebody's life, mm -hmm. remember it is not one day event. Mm. So it has gone down, mm -hmm. it is getting the nutrients of the enemy to make you more bitter mm -hmm. and more stronger in bitterness. So mm -hmm. it's not a simple thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, we will read the word of God mm -hmm. and then we will continue to discuss together. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are going to the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and we will do from number 14 and 15. This morning I know I will be talking to somebody mm -hmm. who has been struggling with the pain. You are hurting. You can't pretend. Mm -hmm. You are hurting. You are bitter. Because something happened mm -hmm. and it's a reality. Indeed, it happened. But the decision depends on you. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's read the word of God. So we are reading from the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 12, verse 14 and 15. The Bible says, Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see God. Verse 15, see to it that no one falls short of the glory of God and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. Praise the Lord. Amen. So bitterness is a poison that will not only destroy you, mm -hmm. but it will also destroy people around you. Yes. Because mm -hmm. hurting people mm -hmm. hurt others. Yes. And today, as we will be checking on this word mm -hmm. ask yourself am i harboring anything mm -hmm. in my heart mm -hmm. because at times we, we, we feel as if we have forgiven but when the memories of the event come mm -hmm. you find you you are filled with the pain of what happened 
Mm -hmm. So today, mm -hmm. now you see what the writer is telling us. Mm -hmm. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone. Yes. In other words, mm -hmm. you work it out mm -hmm. to be in peace with everyone. Yes. Number two, to be holy. Mm -hmm. Because without holiness, without no, you can't see God. You see God. Uh, so what do I want to say? Mm -hmm. The first thing you must be careful, as long as you are living with the people, mm -hmm. you will be hurt yes. in one way or the other. It is true. Be aware of that. And if you don't want to be hurt one day or any other day in your life, mm -hmm. go live in cemetery. Nobody will hurt you there. But whenever the, even your own children mm -hmm. will hurt you, your relatives will hurt you. The church members, your fellow believers, mm -hmm. the person you have taken in to take care of, they will hurt you. But now, the Bible says, see to it that no one falls short of God's grace. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, that no bitter roots grows up mm -hmm. to cause trouble and defile many. Mm -hmm. so bitterness causes us to experience mm -hmm. or rather causes us to experience pain which makes us not to experience God's grace. Mm -hmm. So the pain that we experience uh, hinders us from experiencing God's the grace. grace of God. Because the grace that has been extended to you, mm -hmm. God's desire mm -hmm. is you extend the same to another person. Mm -hmm. What is grace? Unmerited favor. Mm -hmm. So you will show this person a favor mm -hmm. when he or she mm -hmm. does not deserve that favor. Mm -hmm. And that's why now you are told, be careful that you will not be blinded and that you will not be able to see mm -hmm. the grace of God when the bitterness has grown mm -hmm. in you. Mm -hmm. So, we all agree. In one way, one day in life, mm -hmm. something will crop up. But it's one thing to have a certain pain mm -hmm. and a continuous pain. Hurting people mm -hmm. hurt others because there is no that grace in them. Mm -hmm. So the root which is in them mm -hmm. feeds them with the bitter things which they feed other people with. with. Because it is pain. Mm -hmm. So one thing you should do now. Mm -hmm. Before you make any step, ask yourself a question. Mm -hmm. Do I have a root of bitterness? Yet the Bible began by telling us, mm -hmm. make every effort mm -hmm. to be at peace with everyone. everyone. With everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, let's check something in the book of Romans chapter 12. Romans 12. Yes. It's not part of my notes, but let me check something there. Okay. Chapter 12, mm -hmm. verse 9, which says the love mm -hmm. must be sincere. Then what follows? Hate what is evil, mm -hmm. cling to what is good. Good. Hate what is evil. Mm -hmm. Bitterness is evil. You see, hunger, anger is different from bitterness. Anger That's is bit different. Different, but they are relatives. In this sense, this one brings forth this, this one. one. Anger brings bitterness. bitterness. Because mm -hmm. when the Bible gives us a very clear statement in Ephesians chapter 4. Mm -hmm. In other words, you can be hungry, mm -hmm. but sin not. But it has not said be bitter so that you don't sin. <laughs> uh, so... Uh -huh. When you feed with yourself with the memories, mm -hmm. remember what the Bible says in the book of Philippians, chapter 4. Let's read number 6. Ephesians 4, 6. Yeah. Ah, okay, Ephesians 4, 6 says, 
Um, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Move on. Uh, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. The problem is, mm -hmm. we go to God in prayer, presenting our case, but we don't remember that he whom we have been praying mm -hmm. has the power to supply peace. Mm -hmm. Why is he saying peace? Because the Bible is very much aware, may I use the word, the Bible, mm. that you, you are troubled, you can be troubled mm. by even them that are causing pain. But when you allow God to mm -hmm. give you peace, mm -hmm. check that small clause. Mm -hmm. It says the peace of with, God. That mm. surpasses all understanding. It is beyond the understanding mm. of humanity. Mm. How can I keep up with the such? How can I hold this shit? Mm. The such mm -hmm. that is after you pray and you believe God mm. who supplies grace yes. that you are able mm -hmm. to stand and not allow bitterness to develop in you mm -hmm. because if that root is not cut, mm. it will cause you also to miss the grace. And peace. Move on. With what? The same with Philippians. Philippians. Mm. Okay. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true. Now, we had talked about what you think. Mm. Now, you have been hurt. Yes. But do you know how do we feed the root to be strong? It is by thinking of the same. By thinking, concentrating, mm. feeding that pain mm. with the something of called memory of what happened but the bible tells us mm -hmm. uh final brethren and uh, brothers and sisters whatever is true whatever now, is noble when you are thinking about that pain mm -hmm. is it true so think what is true what is true what god says about that bitterness about that pain mm -hmm. about that offense mm -hmm. about that issue it is true the issue is true mm -hmm. but there is the truth yes in the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever yes. is pure. So you have to check. Is it noble? Mm -hmm. What I'm concentrating mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Is it noble to me? What benefit am I gathering from mm -hmm. this? Yes, it happens. But if I remain there, mm -hmm. thinking, meditating, mm -hmm. trying to correct and correct mm -hmm. about the matter, mm -hmm. is it noble? It is not. It doesn't make it. Uh, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, yeah. think about such These things. These are the things mm -hmm. you are supposed to think mm -hmm. so that you have the ability now yes. to cut mm -hmm. the root of bitterness. Amen. When you concentrate on us, mm -hmm. such noble things, mm -hmm. the word of God, mm -hmm. feeding yourself also with the good moments yes. you had with that person. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you, the peace of mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. that surpasses human understanding yes. will garrison. Garrison mm -hmm. is an art of guarding. Protecting. Protecting. Mm. Protecting you. Mm. So your heart is guarded. Amen. And then you will glow mm -hmm. with the peace of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Let's go back now to Hebrews. Hebrews. Uh, we read 13 and 14 and 15. Yeah, that's where we are. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. we have said now, when you pray, when you present that petition mm -hmm. that so and so has at me god mm -hmm. i've forgiven him but i'm feeling pain mm -hmm. help me god yes. i believe what you have told me mm -hmm. to pursue peace with all men yes uh the bible says mm -hmm. romans chapter 12 where we are, mm -hmm. i had talked about verse 9 mm -hmm. uh you see, it says also, check number. We ten, read verse nine. Verse nine. Mm -hmm. Number ten. A bit devoted uh, to one another in love, honor one another above yourselves. 
that act of honoring one another mm -hmm. above yourself, mm -hmm. it is the one which will help you yes. to give this person mm -hmm. a leeway. Mm -hmm. A leeway. Mm -hmm. You allow that person to take the upper hand because you respect the word of God. Mm -hmm. That's why acting people make a decision mm -hmm. to protect their feelings, not their future. Hurting people mm -hmm. make decisions mm -hmm. to protect their feeling mm -hmm. and not their future. Explain. I'm saying mm -hmm. when you are acting at times, you will act out of emotions mm -hmm. to do something to protect your feelings of the moment, but you destroy your future. For example, you have children. And they are young. Mm -hmm. And there's something which is really not endangering your life, mm -hmm. but it is not comfortable in your marriage. It makes you run away, leave these children with their father, or you go with them, you marry another person, you cause them to suffer, then the future is destroyed. By call, because your children are your future. Because you are hurting. Mm -hmm. And that very moment, if you could quiet your spirit and wait, not protecting your ego, not protecting your feeling, mm -hmm. you could have been healed and your children could be safe because that is your tomorrow. You, many people, you are witness. Mm -hmm. Some people, they were hurt by their boss at their working place. Mm -hmm. Out of the pain of the moment, you reacted. And after reacting, you left the job. Today, your family is suffering. And if you could have waited for a moment, mm -hmm. maybe it couldn't be an issue at all. Mm -hmm. Because acting people at others. Mm -hmm. And the acting people decide out of emotions and the feeling, protecting their feelings. Mm -hmm. But don't wait until you are you're dead. You are dead. We will come there. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. every person has a breaking point. The problem is to discover that breaking point. Mm -hmm. We know we have had people who were feared and known, but still there was somebody who could calm them down because he had known mm -hmm. the secret. Now, I'm not talking about the universal humanity. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to the household of faith. Of faith. The problem mm -hmm. is we have sought help where we are not supposed to seek mm -hmm. for help. Mm -hmm. This morning I was thinking about mm -hmm. what did God see mm -hmm. in us that was not sufficient and he said, I will give you a helper. Because he knew mm -hmm. we can't do it yeah. without the helper. Mm -hmm. Now, when you are making the decision, mm -hmm. accept the helper, the Holy Spirit, who has mm -hmm. given you the direction, mm -hmm. or you are deciding out of your pains, mm -hmm. then tomorrow you are crying. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. is it true? Yeah. Yeah, it is. So as much as you are saying, I'm afraid to die, mm. if you are a believer, did you listen? Or you said, mm -hmm. mm. but, but, I, but I also, okay, um, okay on that note, um, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, okay, we, we, okay, we are not saying that somebody should remain until they are destroyed. So as you are saying, we are good that. As, uh, somebody listens. Uh, and it's also good sometimes to give space and it's oh. also good the most important thing is to know what you've said uh, that what God says about that moment because sometimes God would tell somebody to leave but they want to stay because they're also protecting their ego or there are some things they are protecting and then tomorrow we hear of different things I always say this mm -hmm. let's not mix mm -hmm. speculation mm -hmm. with the voice of God Mm -hmm. Even many people who come and tell me God told me, mm -hmm. I always see 
what is the action and the reaction of the person. Mm -hmm. The true voice of God cannot be contradicted. You have answered. Mm -hmm. So, if the Holy Spirit has told you to leave, mm -hmm. you can't say, let me wait and see. Then, you are not obedient to the voice of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you this? Without any cost, 99% mm -hmm. of people who react, they react out of pain and bitterness, not because the Spirit of God has said. Mm. Yes. You see, fear is a catalyst of exit. Of course. Number two, complaints are the stones that build bitterness. Huh? <laughs> Complaints. Complaints mm -hmm. are the stones that build bitterness. Manduguniko. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let, let's add something there. Philippians chapter 2 verse 14. Philippians 2 14. Now, now, I'm mawe ni nini. Let people know what mawe ni nini. Okay. Uh, I'm saying, uh -huh. when you are complaining, mm -hmm. you are making that pain stronger because now you know you don't complain when you're alone mm. you complain when you have somebody around you and that person now mm -hmm. will give you a word of advice to strengthen your complaint then it becomes a stone in which you're building your bitterness I'm cement i'm at the cement then after that mm -hmm. to cut that root mm -hmm. it's very hard let's Ime, read some Meshika Mizizi. Mm. Uh, so we are reading from Philippians chapter 2, mm. verse what? 14. Okay. Philippians 2, 14. Do everything without grumbling or arguing. Mm -hmm. So that you may uh, become blameless and pure. Children of God without fault in a warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky. You see, mm -hmm. I, I always say, mm -hmm. when we read the scriptures at times, mm -hmm. we run. We don't see. We don't see. Mm -hmm. Read. Do everything. What is everything? Everything including everything except nothing. <laughs> so, when you have something that has brought inch into your heart, mm -hmm. as you are doing it, mm -hmm. do it. Without complaining, without grumbling mm -hmm. or arguing. Uh -huh. So that you may become blameless and pure. You see now, mm. that is where the problem is. Yes. Now, in the other realm mm -hmm. of satanic, mm -hmm. complaining and grumbling is part of their preaching. Uh -huh. But for us to be counted pure, and blameless. for us to be blameless, mm. we have to shut. To shun grumbling. And we shun arguing. all these things mm. so that we'll be true children of, of God. God. Amen. So if you have been complaining, mm -hmm. grumbling, mm -hmm. telling everybody, because the root of bitterness, mm -hmm. when we read the Hebrews, it has given us a very good statement there. Mm -hmm. Shina la uchungu risichipuke wengi wakanajisika. Not you. Wengi. When bitterness is in a person mm -hmm. and he has the heart of grumbling, complaining, mm -hmm. sharing in the method of saying I'm, I'm, I'm seeking counsel, many are embittered as well. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing that? Yeah, yeah, it says if you will do this, then you will shine in the darkness. Mm -hmm. Read the book of Jacob. So that okay, children, uh, you become brimless and pure, and pure children of God without fault in a warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine among mm -hmm. them like stars in the sky. Yes, among Be them. What is the difference between the saints? And them that are not saved. We are called believers mm -hmm. because we believe the statements of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We are called believers because we say what the Bible says is true. Mm -hmm. If we did not believe this, then we are not believers. We are mm -hmm. called non-believers. Mm -hmm. We are non-believers when we don't believe what has been said. Mm -hmm. Jesus is telling us mm -hmm. through the spirit who dwells in us, 
For us to shine in this dark world, yeah. we must live a life mm. which is different from the life of the rest of the people. Mm. Why? We will not complain. We will not grumble. Mm. But we will undo it with love and care yeah. because we are born from above. Mm. Amen. Amen. I know very few can take that. Mm. But it's the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So many husbands have left their wives mm -hmm. because they are protecting their ego mm -hmm. of the moment. They have left their wives and their children mm -hmm. because they are protecting their pain of the moment. Mm -hmm. And at the end of it all, mm -hmm. when the root of bitterness has taken the ground, mm -hmm. that person is destroyed. The liver. Yes. Mm hmm so we will not be able to shine. Yes. Uh, we will not be able to, to shine. So the, be so the best thing here, as we have seen it, is uh, shunning a lot of speaking. Exactly. Yeah, you avoid a lot of speaking. Because, because the Bible has told us when we do everything, mm -hmm. because we are children of God, without, doing everything, without even in that pain, it's mm -hmm. part of everything, we will do God's way. We are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see them. Uh, thank you so much. Um, let me see the people that came. Our sister Purity Mati, God bless you so much. Uh, Ronald Betty, God bless you. Jane Jeroge, God bless you. Baraka Thi Hambo, Bo, wow, yeah, yeah. Nasema Leo Siwachi Nyuma, I'm here. Thank you so much. God bless you. Loswa Prestige, thank you so much. God bless you. My sister Grace, and Nasema, or you live with the animals. Kama uta, unataka ku. <laughs> If you don't want to be kuto, hurt. Kuto, kuto mm. umizwa. Aha. Thank you so much. Uh, hallelujah. Make peace with everyone. It is true. Uh, Eva Rinachuka, thank you so much. Uh, Baraka unasema true. Uh, Jane Jeroga unasema complaints are the stones that build bitterness. A very strong revelation. Uh, Bet, you are saying this is the truth. The purity matter. Unasema, God help me. I want to scatter these stones in Jesus' Amen. name. They need to be scattered in Jesus' name. Alex Wambua from Kiserian. God bless you, servants of God. Amen. Thank you so much, brother Alex. May the Lord God bless you so very much. Um, uh, Sue, unasemaje, unasema the word of the moment. Uh, God bless you so much, Sue. Monishi Kim, thank you so much. Monica Kimemia, God bless you so very much uh, for joining us. And may the Lord continue to bless you. So, to Naindelea, the topic is root of bitterness. Na mwalimu anatusaidia kujua kire tunapaswa kufanya to avoid, to avoid, to build up bitterness. Bitterness is from anger. When you have too much anger, prolonged anger, you know, for a wrong period of time, the end result is bitterness. And yes. bitterness is a killer. Bitterness is disastrous. Bitterness inaweza fanya ufanye chochote. Hakuna mutu huamuka kila asubui moja anasema nitaua mutu. Mm -mm. Uh, ukisikia mtu wakikwambia na wewe nitakuwa nita nita it's because there has been a building up of bitterness yes. inside that person sure. and so to unleash uh, or to, uh, to, to, to to unleash what is inside is to act na akiamuyo mtu wakiat basi itakuwa ni majuto so may the lord god help us to believe in his word and, uh, and uh, to 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 think about those things because Mwalimu has told us something powerful that um uh easy vitu zinasaidia zinajegeka kwa sababu ya kufikiria and that is why we have read in Rome uh in uh in in Philippe. Uh, about thinking about those things that are pure yes. they are right they are noble they are praiseworthy Mambo ambayo ya nafaida kwetu. And I think that is very, very important. Yeah. Because the devil has it that when we are angry, yeah. we keep thinking about 
what people have done to us. And so the devil takes advantage and bitterness is built up in us. And instead of becoming better, we become bitter. Excellent. May the Lord help us. Jacqueline Sokoto, thank you so much. Thank you, Mom. Thank you so much. Yes. God bless you for coming. And that's mm -hmm. why I have just been saying, yes. fathers have damaged their future. Mm -hmm. The generation is destroyed in the hands of the bitterness. Yes. Because this father got annoyed mm -hmm. and is starting to act somehow towards the mama mm -hmm. and the children. Then you destroy. Children runs away. Mm -hmm. They go to no wherever they will go. Mm -hmm. They get lost. Mm -hmm. You lose your future you because of your present moment of pain which you could have managed mm. and you could have walked right. Yeah. The whole thing is, mm. you see, for us, the family of faith, we are different from the non-believers. So we have that which governs us, mm. the word of God. The word of God. Even in that pain of yours, mm -hmm. let, let, let me show you something. Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 4. It's very important. I don't want to leave that verse. Mm -hmm. I don't want to leave that verse. It will help us. Mm -hmm. verse, verse 26, mm -hmm. then 29 to 32. 26, 26, 29 to 32. Yes. Okay, watch at Tusome. I'm reading from Ampli uh, NIV. Verse 26 of chapter 4 of Philip Ephesians. It says, in your anger, do not sin. Do not let your son, uh, the sun go down while you are still angry. So you see... Mm -hmm. The reason as to why the Holy Spirit wrote those statements to us. Yes. In other words, he's telling us, mm -hmm. don't allow your mind to continue to think about the issue. Mm. By the evening, mm. you have released it. If not so, you'll see. And they always mm. say this. Mm -hmm. It sounds funny, but it's the truth. Mm -hmm. If you got annoyed at six in the morning, mm -hmm. at least for you, mm -hmm. you have a longer moment of getting annoyed. Up to six in the evening. But if you get annoyed at the six thirty, mm -hmm. you only have maybe around thirty minutes or so to be annoyed. Or you start a new day. <laughs> because <laughs> you're only given don't go beyond a day. Mm -hmm. And not a day, twelve hours. Mm -hmm. Because day is 24. This is 12 hours. Mm. It says the sun? The sun. Do not let the sun go down. Go down. Yeah. So you're not allowed to sleep mm -hmm. with that pain. Mm. Why? If you don't sleep with the pain, you will not give the stones an opportunity to, to build. build a foundation. Mm. When you meditate, at night, mm. it becomes better, yes. stronger, mm. and more wicked. Mm. And it weakens you <laughs> in your spirit and in your mind. Okay. Verse, 20. Verse 29. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth. So when you are talking, you see sometimes people think wholesome is just insulting. Mm. Even when I'm repeating a thing that happened and now I'm building pain from that, it is not wholesome. Mm. It's not. So, mm -hmm. avoid it. Move on. Uh -huh. Talk, uh, uh, wholesome talk, come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others for uh, others up according to their needs that it may benefit those who listen even when somebody has annoyed you mm -hmm. and you select your words wisely mm -hmm. your listener will be will benefit i always tell my wife the secret of overcoming anybody who is paining or you are not in good terms mjenge mahali pakukanyanga Ukibomo akiri alikuwa mekanyanga na namari pa kukanyangia, mm -hmm. hako safe. Na mutafatana. Mm. Lakini shida inakuanga ni kwamba unabomo na umpati mahali pa kukanyanga. Na yeye anasema siyerei, bita na sida waka zaidi. Mm. Wo ose start. Muna pambana. Paka isu wa rude. <laughs> so, the secret is here. Uh -huh. Let the listener benefit. Mm. When that person comes so high mm. and you are you maintain the calmness, I want to tell you that person will go down. Mm. Doesn't matter. How. It is true. But you see, mm -hmm. the pains that we have, we want to prove also we are not small to protect our ego. That ego blinds us not to see the future. Don't make 
a major decision in crisis. Mm. That's why simple-minded people, they will sell a land. Mm -hmm. A land is not something to joke around with. Anausa shamba patia kijana enda kutafuta kazi. Badaraya. Kijana enda kutafuta kazi apate. That's the way the young people mm -hmm. are doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After two months, we have a lot of <laughs> Making decision in crisis. Major decision. Don't make major decision in crisis. Because when you decide to leave your children, it's a major thing. When you decide to leave your wife, it's a major decision. You decide to leave your wife, you go and marry another wife. You see what happens? Kule nako kuna lete shida pia. Utarudi huku na kule utarudi. You are in between. Watoto walisama baba kutu support. Umebaki peke yako. Kisukari, pumu. Nakufa na meyaka dhate. Bas. You have invested in, you have invested your life. You have invested your money. You have invested everything in that family. In that husband. In that wife. Don't make a major decision out of crisis. Think sobering. Because you are not sobering thinking. You are not quiet. You are not... You cannot make any concrete decision. Mm. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a danger and that is what is happening. Somebody said life is not easy, mm -hmm. but it is worth living. <laughs> it's not easy, but it is worth living. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, Hebrews 12, verse 25. Hebrews 12. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lakini mstari wa 25, utasikia, inaongesea kitu tofauti kidoa, lakini tunarudi yapo. Ok, 25 of Hebrews 12, inasema, See to it that you do not refuse him who speaks. If they did not escape when they refused him, who warned them all them on earth, how much less will we, if we turn away from him who wants us from heaven? The reason as to why that verse came, it's, written. Mm -hmm. it's because mm -hmm. God is warning somebody today. Mm. Don't make a decision out of crisis. Calm down first. Mm. Make a good decision. Yes. Yes, you are paining now. Yes, it's not easy. Mm. It's true. It is not all right. Yes. Everything around you, it is crumbling. But hold on. Gather your peace. Remember Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10 to 13. Read it for us. Isaiah 41, number 10 to 13. Mm -hmm. 41. Saints of the Most High God, there are battles you will fight, not because you want, not because it is easy, but because of your future. You will still hold on. You will be firm. Mm -hmm. No matter what because of your future, mm -hmm. you will still maintain the focus. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible tells mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. our battles and uh, our weapons of our warfare are not carnal, mm -hmm. but they are mighty mm -hmm. to the point of pulling down every stronghold. Mm -hmm. You need to know. It's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy. Mm -hmm. But it takes courage yes. to move on. Mm -hmm. It takes faith to stand. Mm. You see, if you are led of the spirit, when the point of death is almost, you'll be one. You'll be told, get out. Mm. It's not right for you to be here tonight. Yeah. Be strong. Listen to what God is telling you tonight. Read. Uh, Isaiah 41 verse 10 to 14. Mm. So do not fear. 
for I am with you. That is the word of God. Mm -hmm. When you remember that statement, mm -hmm. why is he saying do not be do not fear? Because fear is part of humanity. Mm -hmm. But now, remember we said it is a catalyst of exit. Mm -hmm. So he's telling you mm -hmm. before you exit, yes. deal with this first. Deal with the fear. Mm -hmm. So do not fear. Do not fear. do not entertain it. So why why is he telling you do not fear? So that read, don't read, read read it is there. And uh, uh, do not be dismayed for I am with you. That's all. Mm. That is the only thing that will hold you. Mm. God is, is with, with you. you. Amen. Go on. I will strengthen you and help you. Yeah, that very moment you are feeble. That mm. very moment you are You're pain, you are low. Mm. That moment, even prayer, you mm. can't pray. You try to pray, you cry. I, I believe some of you have come to that point, you don't even pray. I've ever been there. You don't even pray. You just tell God, thank you, God. For you are so good, you are faithful, receive the glory, mm -hmm. period. There are things that show up in life. Mm -hmm. You have not done anything to cause them to happen. But as long as you're on earth, they will surely happen. Mm -hmm. So what they, when they happen, remember, God is with you. Mm. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Uh, this is a promise. Mm -hmm. he, has told, he has told you. Mm -hmm. I will, I will strengthen uphold you. you, strengthen you. Mm -hmm. With my right hand I will, will I hold you, you up. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, all who rage against you will surely be ashamed and disgraced. Those who oppose you will be as nothing and perish. Uh, though you search for your enemies, you will not find them. Those who wage war against you will be as nothing at all. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. Do not be afraid, you warm Jacob, a little Israel, do not fear, for I myself will help you, declares the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. That is very powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, he has used a very powerful word there. Mm -hmm. Those who wage war, war against you. Against you. Mm. In other words, he has, he has not said that I will protect you from the war. Mm -mm. The war will be there. Yes. But in the midst of the battle, mm. that's the time it will show forth. Will. His power of protection. Mm. Mm. The power of taking care of you. Yes. Life is dictated by how you respond to every reoccurrence in that moment. Mm. Future is what they're fighting for, mm -hmm. what they believing that it will be blessed mm -hmm. and it will be better mm -hmm. than it has to be mm -hmm. today. Don't give up. Give yourself a chance. Mm -hmm. Whether things are wrong or bad, even when they are good, mm -hmm. give yourself a chance. You can make it. Yes. Because God has promised. To be he will you. not leave you. Mm. He will not forsake you. Yes. Even in the midst of the battle, mm. your enemies mm -hmm. won't be defeated. Yes. Because God mm -hmm. has promised to be with you. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. Amen. Amen. The fire will not consume you. The waters will not sweep you away. Yes. You will still be standing and you'll come out stronger than you were before. God fights all our battles and so it is good that we take care of our hearts and do not allow the root of bitterness to have uh, the time and the opportunity to grow and make us bitter. May the Lord help us and may we tufuatirie neno na neno litatusaidia. Amen. Uh, thank you so much for those who are still with us. My friend Joseph Mothek, Makaduraka Muremo. Thank you so much. Rega Uko Huko Live Show Keforo. Thank you so much. Uh, Grace Njoro, Naveo Rega. Good topic. The Njoros are following. With the Lord God bless thank you. you Faith Karemi, thank you so much also for following. Bona Akubariki. Samuel Master Nasema. Thank you, Mwarim. Eh, najua umebarikiwa. Nani najua niya maana. Jenjoroge. Naveo Rega strengthened by the word. God bless you, Mwarim and mom thank you so much yeah god bless you so much uh, I, I believe that uh, this this calls for personal evaluation uh, uh, that you take it 
listen to it jiite kwa mkutano jiulize yes. where have i prayed it wrongly yeah. ni wapi nimecheza karata zangu vibaya ni wapi sijaweza kudeal ni nini sijaweza kudeal nacho Bwana tukuzwe sana kwa sababu we will never be justified kwa sababu ya vitu zile tunapitia mm. if we do not take the word of God kwa sababu neno la Mungu ndilo ndilo nini ndilo ndilo linatusaidia mm. and the other thing is i i love what is uh, what we know today that you must let go because you will kill yourself and somebody said that unforgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting the offender to die which is impossible you are the person to die baraka na unasema amen mama and dad shukran sana na mungu wa babariki shalom so may the lord god bless you that was good working with us na tunashukuru na tunaamini ya kwamba that this um preaching is helping you it is edifying you it is making you better the reason is for why we come and we come back it is because we believe that somebody is getting better Amen. god is speaking to somebody god is helping somebody god is helping somebody grow na kwa sababu ya hiyo we will continue because this is what uh we've been called to do na kwa hivyo nataka kuita mwalimu atuombe Mambo ya kumaliza and then tutakuwa tumebarikiwa. Amen. Yes. So protect your future mm. because God desire is for you to shine in your generation. Amen. You can do it better. Mm. Don't ignore what the spirit of God is telling you. Amen. Shall we pray? Amen. Father God, we have shared and received your word. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I pray somebody mm. who was to make a decision which was not to double today, mm. they will make a noble decision. In the name, in of, the Jesus. name of Jesus. Yes. By your spirit, mm. you will give them counsel. Mm. Order their steps yes. that whenever they are making decisions, mm. they will be sensitive to your voice. Yes. May you be our guide mm. in everything. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So may the Lord God bless you. Tukutane Sunday uh, here uh, kwa show ya kigoki ya muoyo and of course we are meeting on Thursday please uh, for those who have not joined us um, we moved our Bible study from Tuesday to Thursday 8.30 p.m. Pacific time East African time is 6.30 Friday morning and happen Thursday evening and so it was it is always a pleasure to meet you again and again on Pacific na Bible study so may the Lord God bless you have a great week Shalom Shalom Amen.